guys. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, or Chakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, you know, we just saw that real clip of San Francisco, all right? Half of it, you had San Francisco in the 80s. And the other half, you had the present day San Francisco, okay? And as you can see, you know, during the 80s, San Francisco was prosperous, clean, look like a fun city to be in an ideal city to you know to live in basically all right where you can um you know get yourself a good job or you know set up a nice business and um you know ha you know have a family uh, uh there you know raise your family all right but as you can see now you know San Francisco is full of you know drug addicts homelessness it's dirty okay and it just looks completely through. It looks, you know, um, you know, it's like a city of despair, man. It's just done. All right. It's just completely done. And I'll say this, you know, this is happening throughout all of America. All right. You can go from San Francisco, all right, to New York, to Miami, to Chicago, to uh, L.A., Portland, Seattle, so on and so forth. This is what America looks like now, okay? And the reason why is because we're at the very end of this empire. This is the, uh, you know, the last second, so to speak, of this kingdom's existence, okay? America will fall, and that's biblical prophecy, all right? And let's get a scripture to back that up. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. All right, meaning that it was that exalted kingdom. All right, and at one point, everybody wanted to come here. You know, it, it didn't matter where you were from. You could have been from the Middle East. You could have been from, uh, you know, uh, out there in, you know, in the Far East. You could have been from Europe. You could have been from South America, the islands, you know, Africa, wherever, right? Everyone wanted to be here at one point, but now we're in the um, we're in the uh, in the age of decadence. Okay, meaning the age of decaying. Okay, because we live in a decadent society right now. All right, this society's you know decaying, it's crumbling right before everyone's eyes. And with that being said, you know people from you know around the world they don't really come here too much. You know they do. To a degree, because this place you're allowed to do whatever you want and not have to deal with any repercussions. But for the most part, people don't want to, you know, live here. They'll may they they may visit, see a thing or two, go sightseeing, all right, and, and, and you know, head back home. But for the most part, you know, people are avoiding America now. Okay? Because it's uh it's disgusting, it's filth. Alright. But let's get back to this uh Jeremiah 51 in uh, 7, and it says here, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, meaning the philosophies, okay? Therefore, the nations are mad, all right? Meaning they, these people who, uh, you know, drink America's, you know, philosophies, which is that um, democracy, basically, which that um, includes uh, feminism, that includes the... Uh, LGBTQ community that includes um, um, you know uh, men not being masculine alright so on and so forth okay hey, well, once you drink that wine you become crazy alright your, 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 your uh, actions aren't logical okay and they lead you to destruction you see, and that's also what's leading the nations to be uh, angry, because now these nations are are seeing the results of what happens when you uh, drink, okay. You know that 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 American juice, all right, that Babylon juice, 
like I said, democracy. Now they they have um, you know um, uh, women talking back to them. They have children talking back to them. Okay. Hey, their sons and daughters are becoming a part of the uh, like I said, the the alphabet gang. Okay, as I like to call it. You know. Just uh, just basically disorder and chaos. And that doesn't lead to a productive society. Alright. Let me keep reading. This is verse 8. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Alright. And basically, that's the stage that we're in. We're in the stage where Babylon is falling. Okay. And um, there's no way to uh, heal this place. This place is never going to bounce back. It's too far gone, man. You see? It's completely through. Alright? You, you you would literally have to, uh, for lack of words, hit a reset button in order for things to get, you know, good. You know? Because there's no way that, you know, America can uh, clean up, you know... This homeless problem. There's no way it can clean up, you know, the drug problem. All right. You know the the the, the robberies, the scamming, the scheming. There's no way. It's too far gone. Hey, these people are in too deep. All right. And with that all being said, they the Lord, He's gonna actually hit the reset button. He's gonna completely destroy it. You know. And with that being said. Once America is destroyed, then the kingdom of heaven comes. Hey, where, where peace, tranquility, and true righteousness is going to flourish. Alright? And this is why the scriptures say, let me get this. Better is the end of a thing. Alright? Even though, you know, what you know uh, I showed you was a terrible thing. Alright? You know, it's, it's terrible seeing that, so to speak. But actually, it's a good thing. You know? If you have spiritual eyes. Because as it says here, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Alright? Hey, the, it, it, this is a beautiful time period that we're living in. And that's because we're li uh, living in the end of uh, the age of Esau. Okay? His rulership. The American dynasty. The so-called white man dynasty. Alright? This is the, the end of it. Okay? Because you don't... Uh, for you Israelites today, the so-called Black Latinos, Native Americans, you wouldn't want to um, go back to the beginning of this dynasty, because what happened to you was nothing, but um, all that happened to you was nothing but uh, rape, robbery, murder, okay? You know, uh, death, agony, pain, torture. That's what was going on, man. Okay. You see, it's still going on to this day, but it was. It was in, in, in full uh, effect, full force, all right? You know, at the beginning of this society, you see? So this is beautiful that it, it, it's coming to pass, man, that it's, you know, f uh, falling, okay? Because, look, before any good must occur, all right, the, um, the evil must be destroyed, all right? This is uh, 2 Ezra 4, and uh, we'll start at 26, main points in 28 and 29. And it reads here, 2 Ezra 4 and 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasteneth fast to pass away. You see, this world is, is uh, uh, passing away fast, man. You know? Even when you look at that that uh, quick clip that I showed you, that real clip of San Francisco, from the 80s to now, that's only 40 years. Look at the drastic change, okay? Look at the drastic change. It's evident that this world is passing away. There, there's no way that a society can keep running like this. There's no way. It's going to implode. If this place were to continue, if the Lord... Uh, you know, said you know, said you know what? I'm gonna let this you know world, you know, continue for another 10, 20, 30, 40 years, right? This place will literally implode. It would just, it would self destruct. Okay. But see, the Lord's gonna uh, end all this, all right? You know, uh, speedily, 
for the elect's sake. All right, for those who are sighing and crying for all the abominations that are done thereof. All right, that are tired of this society, that are seeking and yearning. Okay, all right, for a, a, a righteous, you know, a uh, kingdom. You see. Let's keep reading. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Okay? You know, they, they, that's, uh, that speaks for itself. I don't have to elaborate on that. Look at the unrighteous laws that are set up. Look at this world is full of diseases and death. Okay? So who would want to stay here? Or who in the right mind would want to stay here? I'll, I'll say it like that. Okay? But as concerning the things were of thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sowing, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So before the good comes, the evil must be destroyed. So this kingdom has to be obliterated. It has to go. Okay? And that's what's happening. Uh, uh, that's what's going to happen very soon. You see? Because they, 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 this, if this place continues, man, hey, they, no flesh will be saved, as the scriptures say. You know? All right, but hey, the, the Lord is here. He, he's taking this place out, man. And it's evident. It's evident. And it, this is the good thing. If you're in your right mind, you know these things must occur. And it's got to get actually worse, okay, so to speak, in order for it to get better, you know. And we, you know, the hopeful elect, we're just praying and hoping that this nightmare ends soon because no, uh, we don't want to live in this place, man. All right, we don't. All right, but uh, I'm going to end off this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemuel Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. All right, Shalom. And I'm going to play that video one more time.